Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, St. Stephen Baptist Church with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master. Thank you so much for joining me today. As we continue the theme, we have been exploring the entire week, fear, overcoming the fear of failure. The first part of the week, we talked about fear. And now we're, we have transitioned to talk about a particular type of fear, and that is the fear of failure. Um, um, many times in life, we don't attempt certain things because we are afraid that we will fail. When we were in school, we um, maybe had a question or we wanted to answer the question the teacher was asking, and we perhaps had the right answer, but we were afraid that if we raised our hand and we failed and got the wrong answer that we would we would be humiliated and shamed publicly so uh many of us don't try now that's when we were in grade school but unfortunately many of us psychologically have not moved beyond those same phobias that we had when we were younger because there's a lot of things that we don't attempt to do today because we are afraid that we will fail the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is not that successful people don't fail. That's not the case. Successful people fail just like unsuccessful people fail. Here's the difference between success and non-success. Successful people are successful not because they don't fail. Successful people are successful because they don't quit. Let me say it again. Successful people are not successful because they don't fail. Successful people are successful because they don't quit. They don't give up. And Paul, who was um, the, the great successful apostle, whose teachings undergirded the development of the church, says this in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 8 and 9. He says, we suffer, but we are never crushed. Even when we don't know what to do, we never give up. In times of trouble, God is with us. And when we are not down, we get up again. When we're not down, we get up again. And God wants us, first of all, he's saying we, we get knocked down. Paul, who's a Christian, Paul, who's anointed, Paul, who's an apostle, got knocked down. Now, if Paul got knocked down, if Paul got knocked down, what about you? You will get knocked down. But what does he say? We get up again. And the person who got up after being knocked down is stronger, greater, and better as a result of the failure. Now, let me say something to you about failure that's critically important. And I'm quoting the great president of Morehouse, mentor of Martin Luther King Jr. when I say this. Benjamin Mays said that Failure is not when you don't reach your star. So don't say, well, I, don't, I didn't reach my star. I was dreaming to get to that star and I didn't reach that. He said, if you don't reach the star, that's not failure. He said, failure is when you don't have a star you're trying to reach. He said, failure is not when you don't reach your dreams. Failure, according to Benjamin Mays, is when you don't have a dream to reach. Failure, listen to this, failure, according to Benjamin Mays, is low aim. When you aim too low because you have a low opinion of God and you have a low opinion of, of yourself, so you aim low. If your God is big, should your dreams not be big? If your God is big, should not your aspirations be big? If God is big, should not your plans be big? It's low aim, Benjamin May says, is failure. Falling down is not failure. Staying down, not learning from the failure, and quitting is what failure really is. Thomas Edison said, that uh, many of the inventions that he made famous was inventions from people who had started something great 
phenomenal and phenomenal, but frustration kicked in and they gave up. And he said, many people don't realize how close they were to a breakthrough, but they didn't finish it. They got frustrated and they quit. Don't get frustrated. Don't give up until you go up. You know, someone said that it's all right if you spill the milk. You pour a glass of milk, you spill the milk. Okay, oh, I, I knocked the milk over. Don't cry over spilled milk. You've heard that expression. And it's okay if sometimes in life you spill the milk. But it's but if you spill the milk, just make sure you don't lose the cow. Because if you spill the milk and you still have the cow, then you have the source of the milk. You can get the milk back. And if and in life, what I have discovered, and I've done it, I've spilled the milk so many times. I've spilled the milk. But I never lost the cow. And in that metaphor, of course, the cow is God, because if the cow is the source of the milk, then God is the source of all of our blessings. And as long as you have God, even though you spilled the milk and you've had a failure that is public, well, by the grace of God, you can get back up again. When I think of somebody who spilled the milk but didn't lose the cow, I think of the great boxer, George Foreman. George Foreman was humiliated by a older Muhammad Ali in Zaire, Africa uh, in 1974. He was invincible heavyweight champion of the world and Muhammad Ali beat him, rope doped him and he fell down and it was the shame. But if you, the shame of boxing that he was defeated, he was embarrassed, but he rethought himself and he reinvented himself and he acknowledged and he faced the fact of failure and said, I failed. Muhammad Ali was a better fighter than I was. I didn't do the right things. I learned from it. And guess what? He won the championship again in his old age. But more importantly, he became a better man and an entrepreneur and probably retired from boxing, not as a result of boxing, but as a result of being such a wonderful person, an innovative entrepreneur as probably the wealthiest boxer ever in history. But it was a result of the failure. Fell down, uh, the milk was spilled, but he didn't lose the cow. And you may think because your milk has spilled over that it's over for you. No, but you still have God. God is the source, God is the cow that allows you to get more milk, more dreams, more hope, more aspirations. I once heard about an, an experiment that was done on four monkeys. They put the four monkeys in a room and they put a pole in the middle of the room and they put a lot of bananas at the top of the pole. And when the monkeys looked up and saw the bananas, guess what? They started scaring up the pole to get the bananas. But the experimenters had a high powered hose. And every time they would climb up the pole, they would they would shoot a torrent of strong painful water from the holes at these monkeys and the monkeys would scare it back down. And then they tried to go back up again and they would take that torrent of water from the holes, spray them high powered holes and knock them back down. And it was repeated multiple, multiple times until the, the monkeys would see the bananas and say, you know what, I can't get up there because every time I get up there, I get hit with this torrent of water and they just didn't try. So guess what they did? They took four monkeys, one monkey out of the room and put another monkey in the room that had never been hit by the hot torrent of water. That monkey saw that bananas and said, what's wrong with you guys? There's some bananas up there. And he tried to climb the, 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 the pole to get the bananas. No water hit him, but the other three monkeys who had been hit by the water grabbed the monkey and brought him back down because they didn't want the monkey to get hit with the torrent of water. And before you know it, they would grab the monkey as he tried to climb again and bring him back down because of their bad experience. And they kept grabbing the monkey. And eventually the monkey said, I can't do it. Over a period of time, they substituted the other three monkeys with new monkeys and the 
same thing happened to the new monkeys, socialized by the other monkeys not to climb any higher to, and, and reach their dreams. So the close of the experiment, four new monkeys who never got hit with the torrent of water was sitting around a pole, frustrated with bananas up there that they're not trying to reach and they don't know why they're not trying to reach it. They're not trying to reach it because they've been socialized and programmed not to reach the bananas. And many of us have been socialized and programmed not to reach whatever God has for us. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is stay away from some monkey folk who don't have dreams and who, because of their bad experience, want to superimpose that on you and hold you down to tell you what you cannot have. Whatever God has for you, you should want it. You should never go to your grave with your best music still in you. If there's a mountain, climb it. If it's a valley, you can cross it. If you're sick, the grace of God can help you overcome it. If you get knocked down, you get back up again. Keep, keep climbing that pole. Overcome the fear of failure, remembering that failure is not when we fall down. Failure is when we refuse to give up or refuse to get back up again. It's time to get back up. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word and bless your people, I pray today, and help us to truly not just hear it, the word, but say, I'm moving my life in a new direction. Lord, honor the faith that people are exercising and help us for your glory and our good in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with me with another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church home, I'd love to invite you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Just email us here at St. Stephen Church, New Start at sstlive.org. Peace and blessings to you. I hope you have a blessed rest of the day and we'll gather again tomorrow. But until then, don't forget the protocol during COVID-19. Stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. I'll see you tomorrow.